Welcome to this tutorial on uh, radical substitution mechanism. This is aimed at around about uh, AS level, so uh, uh, introductory organic chemistry. I've divided it into three sections. Uh, so uh, on the first section here, curly arrows for radical reactions, then look at uh, the chlorination of methane mechanism, and then of that reaction look at side products and summary. So the reaction which we're interested in here is methane reacting with chlorine under the conditions of UV light, giving you a chlorinated chloromethane here, and HCl. It's an exothermic reaction, it's a radical reaction, uh, and we're going to look at the mechanism for those radicals. It is a chain reaction, uh, and it's rather explosive and unpredictable under certain conditions. So uh, it's a substitution reaction because you've substituted an H for a Cl. It's a radical reaction because you've got radicals, and radicals are species which have got unpaired electrons. So there's a chlorine atom with an unpaired electron, and here's a CH3, and on that carbon there's an unpaired electron. So we write them with a dot on the chlorine there, uh, or here that carbon has got an unpaired electron, so there's a dot there. Now the way that uh, radicals form is that uh, you can have two electrons in a covalent bond. If that breaks evenly, then one electron will go to each atom. And we can show that with half curly arrows, which represent a one electron moving on to chlorine there, or one electron moving back onto this chlorine, so we end up with the two radicals here. And uh, you can also write it just with one curly arrow going here, uh, implying that the other electron is uh, left behind. Now, uh, radicals are very reactive. They've uh, only got one, they've got an unpaired electron there, and they want to pair up. So these two atoms could join together, and we end up with a molecule. And that would be represented with the uh, half curly arrows here, where the two uh, unpaired electrons are joining together to form a bond. Or more commonly, it would be written with one radical bumping into another radical with just the single curly arrow, and there's the new bond which forms. Now, uh, radicals are so reactive that they'll uh, react with anything they bump into. So they can bump into a molecule, and if they do bump into a molecule, then uh, a bond within that molecule will break evenly, so that one electron um, moves back here, as it were, to make a new bond with a radical, and then the other will go forward to uh, form a new radical. So the products which we'll get will be a new molecule with two electrons formed here, and then that electron will go, uh, a single electron will go onto carbon, so you'll get a new radical. Representing this with curly arrows just going in one direction, we have this radical bumps into that atom there, and then of these two electrons, uh, one of them bumps onto the carbon there to form that radical. And the reason why we write it in this fashion is so that it's analogous to when you're doing nucleophilic substitution or any two electron curly arrows. So two electrons come along, bump into a molecule, and then the two electrons get shunted on. And you can see that this is uh, similar in the way that it looks. So just in uh, summary of uh, one electron curly arrows, we have a half curly arrow, meaning one electron, and uh, we can form radicals uh, by breaking a covalent bond. We can destroy radicals by two radicals bumping into each other, and then uh, you can have radicals bumping into a molecule to form a new molecule and a new radical. Okay, next we'll look at the actual mechanism involved when uh, chlorine bumps into uh, methane.